Well, hello, hello. How the hell is it going? Welcome back for another episode of The Binding of Isaac Rebirth. I'm 8 Hero. Thank you for joining me again. I apologize if I sound a little rough. I was involved in an automobile accident about two days ago. Um, luckily, nobody was severely injured. I, I did suffer a couple of minor injuries from the accident, though. Uh, mainly to my chest and right arm. So, I don't think that's going to affect me too much. Um, let's take a look. We did do some damage already with Azazel. Um, Ma uh, Maggie. And, uh, of course, Isaac. So, I think it's time for us to pick a new character. Uh, thank you guys for sending your well wishes and stuff over the weekend as well. Um, yeah, it was just... Uh, not much I could do, really, in regards to the accident. Someone tried to cross um, one, two, three, four lanes of, like, high-speed traffic. Uh, and uh, we, uh, myself and uh, Miss Lavender Giraffe, another streamer slash YouTuber, um, were in the third lane. As you can imagine, he didn't make it too far. I got him a pickup tourist to start off with. I was going to ask who we were fighting with. Um, I really... So kind of out of it, I uh, didn't even realize we picked Kane, which is one of my favorite characters from the original Binding of Isaac. It's going to be my first time playing with him in Rebirth. Um, I think... No, I had to play with him at least once doing something or another. Because um, I found out that his... Our, oh, no, no. No, it was Isaac. I found out the Luckfoot doesn't do... Uh, doesn't work on hills anymore. Damn shame. What does uh, Taurus do for us again? Oh, Jesus, I'm out of it, guys. I'm sorry. Um, so yeah, there wasn't any episodes for the week. I've been working on a uh, really, really cool project that I can't wait to tell you guys about. Uh, unfortunately, lips are sealed for the time being. I'll tell you what, I'm going to take this pill in here in hopes that it was diarrhea. Uh, explosive diarrhea. I'll try to blow through there. Oh, well... we're going to be fighting? The Gurglings! Okay, that's no big deal. I'm kind of pinned in here in a little position I, I don't like so much, but... Oh, boy. Oh, that's right. You kind of build up the, uh, like, the unicorn horn effect with Taurus as well. It gets kind of like a rage going on. That's cool. What is this? Blood clot. Damage and range up. Awesome. Happily take that. Happily take our half heart and move on down to the next floor. I don't have any bombs, unfortunately, to make anything happen over there. So I think that's going to be it. <clears throat> uh, so, yeah, luckily nobody was um, too severely injured. Um, Lavender Giraffe got a broken nose. Um, as well as, of course, uh, everybody got whiplash. I got some burns on my chest and arm uh, from the airbag, but I think everything's going to be okay. Uh, and of course, another uh, terrible thing too as well, uh, unfortunately, um, I was explaining why I hadn't done a video for last week, uh, my pet and... Uh, Longtime companion, Odin. Um, you may know his brother, Zed. Both of those were bought for the initial release of Mine Z coming out of Alpha. Um, pretty much the loves of my life as far as animals go. Probably the only pets I'm going to have. Um, unfortunately, Odin did pass away. So I took some time off to just kind of deal with that stuff. Um, a rough week. Uh, for the robot here. Let's take a look. Get back in the swing of things here with Isaac, though. Maybe it'd be nice to me today. A mishap is not something I'm too excited about, but hey, whatever. It's something. Unfortunately, I already took damage. I don't think our deal with the devil opportunity is strong. But I'm willing to pick up some spirit hearts and other things of that sort. 
can't believe I didn't get to the chest as well. Fairly will protect our chances a little better going down. Oh, we're going to be fighting double champion monstros and two leapers in a small room. That was kind of bullshit, to be honest. Well, let me mess up at least. I'm going to take out the one monstro. Unicorn of Horn, finish off the rest of them. Let's see what we got. Toothpicks. Tears up. Great. And, uh, you know what? Hmm. We have a secret room around here that I could kind of guess made at. Could sacrifice this. Yeah, let's go take a look see what our room here has. Ah, it's Spirit Heart. No big deal. No harm, no foul. Alright. We do have the one bomb remaining. So I don't think I want to go for that chest, as I may just get another bomb or another key back and just end up even anyhow. Oh, and I didn't see any, like, definite spots for secret room. On to the caves we go. Hello. A dime very much interests me. That's worth a bomb, in my opinion. But again, play smart. I'm not going to use it up just yet. Oh, we found our item room right away. Be Robo Baby. It's a good little bit of secondary damage. Hey, and that's going to make 15 cents, so we can definitely go to shop this time around as well. Go ahead and break these fires as well. We still have Spirit Heart protecting us, so deal the devil is a possibility. So, I'm not going to take this build just yet. Uh, I hope you guys are doing well, though, and I hope you had a good week. Uh, again, apologies for the videos, but kind of explained why uh, this series bad luck it is what it is though um shop I've got two bombs let's go ahead and get our 10 cents here there we go really should we have the ability to fly for just a second I forget what this does. Mm. Convert your soul. Does this convert soul hearts into red hearts? Not entirely sure, to be honest. I'll carry it around for a second, see if I can figure out what it does. I think it's one of those items I've never figured out. It's purpose? If you guys know what the converter does, Comments below. Read them every video. It will definitely come back for that as long as we maintain hold of this spirit heart. And uh, oh my, Robo baby, take care of you from a distance. I believe that would be a poisonous mushroom, right? I'm gonna explode these because there might be yeah something else I can gather out of them as well and get my bomb back. Seem like very little risk for reward. That's exactly what happened. Possibly, depending on what the uh, pill ends up doing for us. It's quite a huge room here. I'll try to line up as many as I can downrange. All right. Wasn't too bad. Fighters are not something I'm interested in, though. Alright, three keys, two bombs. We're doing good so far. Let's fight. Let's be Mega Maul. Mm. It's not too exciting, to be honest. He has a pretty difficult attack pattern to dodge with the rotation. We'll use as much as I can from the Taurus. 
Is that going to be a damage up as well? Awesome. We've been very lucky with speed up, damage up. Um, man, I don't remember what this guy does. I know he gives you three hearts for one, for sure. For that reason alone, I'm going to take it. Oh, it's sin up. Okay, yeah. Even if they are spirit hearts, I feel like it's essentially like using Guppy's paw. Makes me a little scared to use these pills now because I'm not guaranteed good ones anymore. Luck up. Okay. Feel a little better. Lemon party. Not terrible. Uh, I feel less inclined to go to that room, though. I'm not sure exactly what Sin Up does for us. He's got a serious ball sack chin going on. He looks cool, though, with the horns and the black robe. I'm guessing we might see more Sin-related items. If I had to take a guess, probably Brimstone would be in that item pool. I mean, best guess. Yeah, no, I'm not going to waste two keys in there. Got some bomb flies I want to kind of take care of before they get up close. There we go. Dude, I dig the creepy music for the the Taurus Rage. Easy does it. Back in the middle. There we go. Sort them out from the distance. Oh, that's a damn shame. Ten cents is wonderful. I'm excited about that. I didn't think we were going to get another shop opportunity, but... Oh, no, no, no. These bats kind of charge in. I kind of want to take care of them from a little bit of a distance. There we go. We have a troll bomb in the next room, so let's just be quick about it, shall we? These guys are assholes. Probably my most hated enemy. One of my most hated. I'm not going to do anything with this. I will wait it out and fight. Fight from long range. Robo Baby, you do all the work here. Please and thank you. start closing in a little bit. Monkey Paw. Wish granted. Can we kind of fight these spiders from distance here? It's not like bonies. That's kind of irritating in a, in a way. Good intentions, but not exactly useful in this one scenario, Taurus. Uh, 11 cents. Oh my. Oh, is it converting my black hearts back into red hearts again? I think it did so. Interesting. I think I might have found out what Soul Converter does. At least it works on black hearts. That would have been handy to know. It doesn't use the half heart with machine. Do I have a Mark Truck right here, though? Oh, it will use. Excellent! So we are slowly getting back into shape here. HP up, and you feel protected. And we can use the converter. Mmm. Excellent. All right, all right. I'm starting to see the use of this item now. That's unfortunate. I don't think it counts as red heart damage. I 
15 cents. Shop's now viable as well. Wow, so Eighty skeletons, man. That's probably going to kill our deal the devil chance right there, that room. Ah, well. Let's go take a look see what our shop has for us, though. Oh, wrong way. I'm surprised we've gained so much back in permanent red hearts. I mean, went from one to uh, five. One floor, so using the converter. Do I want the ladder for 15 cents? Uh, no, not really. I will take this. Can I convert it? No, I need maybe two of them. That's fine. I'll just dump some more in the donation machine. There we go. Probably getting close to another lock, I imagine. I'm guessing there would be one at 50 cents. That sounds logical to me. We'll go drop the other two cents in there and see if we get unlocked. That'll be very welcome as well. Broken magnet, it kinda works. I'm gonna take the monkey paw. I don't know, it's been good to us so far. And we have a spirit heart that we can kind of... Oh shit, forgot about that being in there. We can waste, go check out what's going on in this room. There's some spiders. It sucks, at least we get a key out of it. I don't make something work with that. on through here to the right. Um, I don't see any room where the broken magnet can help us in any way on this floor. Oh! We have two cents, so we want to drop off the donation machine real quick. And that should get us another store unlock if I had to gamble on it. Uh, why do I keep coming to the item room? Sorry. It's a little disoriented, guys. It's, uh... Please don't jam. There's options has appeared in the basement. Hmm. There's options. If I had to guess, we either have more items available in our pool now, or we might see multiple 15 cent items. I mean, that would be kind of cool. Extremely handy in this room. Almost done here with Gertie. Pick up our spirit heart and a range up. Which is great, we have great range, we have great damage, great speed, uh, and pretty fast tiers. Cool. I think that's going to do it for this floor. Let's head on down. That was kind of a long one for us, but very profitable. Necropolis XL, Curse of the Labyrinth. Wow, you really fucking hate me now, don't you? Nobody has a good time on Necropolis, especially Curse of the Labyrinth XL floor. Uh, I can only hope that there's little to no Mask of Infamies, and they be kind of gentle with the green guys. I can deal with these guys, no problem. Zombies, fat men, that's okay. Rolling in the keys. Brimstone spiders kind of scare me. Rightfully so. There goes our spirit heart. Not a big, big ordeal. I think Monkey Paw is letting us just kind of roll in, in keys and, and bombs, which I am, I am fine with. 
versus slight magnetic attraction, I mean. Um, not yet. <laughs> Let me look to the right here. Oh my. Let's walk right into that Gertie, uh, or, uh, Larry Jr. conga line here. We'll have at least swan dive in here. Works great for big rooms like that. Oh, I'm stuck on something. Oh, it's a hole. I didn't see it in the ground. Versus Krampus. Well, not what I was expecting. Can't believe I wandered into that twice. Well, should at least let us take care of Krampus here. And we're going to grab Lump of Coal for our efforts. So, even though we're not going to get a deal with the devil, we did get our Krampus fight anyhow, which is more damage up. Of course, the further our tiers go. Um... Now we need to do some HP recovery on the double. We do have heart laying around on the right, in case anything were to go severely wrong. Um, honestly, I don't know how I wasn't hit there. Truth be told. I will swan dive through here, try to do as much damage as possible, take that red heart happily, and that one as well. Some more money, more bombs. Everything's turning up uh, aces so far. All right, we're back to full HP. Makes me feel a little better. Things got a little scary for just a second. Is Robo Baby hitting through that? Yeah, he does. So I can just stand right in front of him. Robo Baby would do all the work. Oh, we do have a marked rock right there. Happily take that. A couple more spirit hearts to add to our arsenal. Damn it, greed heads. At death. Oh, easy does it. Come on, pop up turret. Learn my lesson with that guy. Shooting constantly is never a good idea. That's unfortunate. I thought I was going to be fast enough to get through unscathed. Kind of a terrifying room. I do want to take care of the chubs first. Oh. Take my key. Uh, I'm not going to go to the uh, shop. I feel like that'd be a waste of time and money. Considering I have two cents. I mean, I guess we could put a donation machine since I have so many keys, but... We do only have to get through... I believe this is our first fight with Kane, so we only have to fight Mom's heart. It's not a big ordeal. We're up to 10 cents, which is pretty great. I'm trying to keep all these Larry Juniors in a line so the Robo Baby can be maximum efficient. I don't see any more tannin rocks in here. Fucking greed heads. Worst. Okay. Amazingly cleared that up. Not interested in the curse room just a second. But I will be. Mm. <laughs> How bad do I want this pill? Telepills. It's gonna get us into our item room for free with Cupid's arrow, which is a-okay. I like piercing tears. Oh my. And you can see the brimstone guy over there. Just gonna line us up right for our next item room as well. Spider uh, quad shot. That's pretty cool. Quad piercing shots that get more powerful the further they travel. I think we're doing all right. Uh, let's grab our death card, get out of there. That's a little scary. I think we just finished clearing up this floor and call it a day. We have three rooms over here. Uh, of course, it wouldn't be complete without Mask of Infamy. We should have a heart here. We've got some rooms up this way as well. 
Oh, I can't believe I didn't see the one right in front of me. Oh, this is a classic Isaac room. I do need to come up. Oh, well. Alright, Taurus. Not the uh, absolute best time for that. <laughs> There we go. Oh, and I accidentally slipped off and used my death card prematurely. <sighs> oh well, it's okay. Not the end of the world. Damn it! Not super interested in playing that either. I will use a bomb though. Get over this golden chest. Take a look, maybe we can HP up or something. Full card. It's kind of interesting. We're gonna get our HP back, which is good. Right before we do this mom fight. I said we go drop our 12 cents off in the donation machine, uh, or fight greed. That's definitely a possibility I didn't consider. Well, if we find another donation machine somewhere along the way, we can drop in all this cash. So we do have the boss room up to the right. And here we go. Wow, that's a uh, pretty terrifying attack. Not gonna lie. We'll take a Spirit Heart. Tears and Shot Speed up, which is good. Um, not necessarily Shot Speed, but I will take a Tears up. Nice. And uh, we're gonna be fighting a champion version of Mom. I think this is actually the easier one, where her foot stomps more than anything else. Which I'm okay with. And we do have this uh, Tainted Rock down here as well. Almost done. Pretty short mom fight. A couple of Spirit Hearts. I think we use that in the Converter. And then go ahead and open this chest. It's going to be a damage up from Cricket's head. Let's get that splash damage. And then we're going to get a Tears up. I mean, this has been a really, really lucky run for Kane. Are we eligible for a devil room? Uh, I don't think so. But I'll use full card and we'll look anyhow. Because that's really the only purpose to do is hope to get that deal with the devil room in there. And I think it's like far too much damage for that to be a possibility. But, you know. At least I can say we looked. Right? No? Okay. Fair enough. I understand. I know game. So we have the womb. Curse of the blind. For this floor. We're doing a shit ton of damage now, which is good. Uh, it's great news for us. We also, unfortunately, have no way of knowing where we're going. Um, damn. I don't think there's any conceivable way to get over there. See, callous feet would protect us from any spike damage. I don't think that's going to be a big ordeal in the womb, anyhow. He's uh, curse room doesn't interest me too much. Glad that we have lots of red hearts sitting around. to what could possibly be in here. It looks like just big brains, though, which I'm okay with, honestly. Swan dive in here. Yeah. And it's just raining red hearts, which, great. Um, been lucky enough to not take a lot of damage. We're doing uh, insane amounts of damage. I think it's going to be a pretty easy fight for us. I think that's the telltale right there. 
two clubs, gonna double our bombs. Oh. There's the turret. I think we just fight this boss, get out of here. The conquest. I don't know. Uh oh. Got some police sirens going nearby. Apologize about that. I don't think we've fought conquest yet before, to be honest. Of course, we don't know the item that we're going to be picking up either. Hmm. White Pony. Oh, of course we're going to get White Pony. That's stupid of me to think otherwise. Uh, you know, I'll take White Pony over the Soul Converter. I think Soul Converter has lived out its days. Immediately regretting that decision. <laughs> Let's obviously use it here. Uh, this could be nine lives. I mean, we have no idea what it could be. Guppy's tail. Okay, of all things considered, that's all right. Shall I use the converter once more? And then we'll take the white pony and go. Uh, actually, I'm going to backtrack really quick. There was a group of uh, like five or six bombs down here. I'm not crazy, right? It was right here. No, next room. Kind of a fight. Again, three bombs. You never know. Might be make or break. Yeah, I was going to grab Callus, uh, but then I realized I'm retarded and uh, already have the pony. I'm not going to be taking any spike damage anyhow, so that would be a very stupid move on my part. Uh, I think we're good. Just head on down to the next floor, leave Soul Converter behind. Just turned our one red heart we had into the six we're sporting now. And we still have half a spirit heart as well to sit on. The pony, got tons of maneuverability, tons of damage. Oh, what is this? Rusted key. Feels lucky. I will take the monkey paw. It's treated us very well so far. Dingle can suck a dingle. Um, very excited to drop some money off there. I do want to take care of these. If I'm not wrong, there might be hands in here as well. No, okay. Continue heading left. Why? All right, a couple of flies to join us. Let's check up, possibly. Oh my, it's terrifying looking. More red hearts. Nothing here. Alright, well, it's clearly not this way. Let's go ahead and spend some money on Judgment, shall we? Okay, one cent for a compass. I'll happily take that. Uh, if there's enough red hearts laying around, I'll be interested in coming back to play the Demon Judgment as well. Oh, well, maybe not. Or maybe, I don't know. The Game Kid has appeared in the basement. Awesome. I was just looking to see if there was a donation machine in there. I didn't see one. There we go. Took out all the hands. Here, shuckle here. There's our boss room. How do I feel about our chances against Mom's heart? Uh, phenomenal. Um... So much so that it's a sure win, and I don't want to gamble. I think it'd be stupid of me to gamble on this Demon Judgment payout. I think we just go in here and win. Seems like a good idea to me. Almost done here. Only gonna take one red heart of damage. Fetus in the jar has been unlocked, as well as Demo Man. That's pretty exciting. Let's go ahead and pop in this chest and watch our ending.
Phoenix in the jar has appeared in the basement. Challenge number nine unlocked demo man. All right, thank you guys for joining me for another episode of Binding Isaac. Don't worry, I haven't let you, uh, left you. Just a couple of things I had to take care of last week with uh, Odin passing, of course, the accident, which I'm still healing from. Uh, thank you for joining me. I will see you in the next episode. Take care.